Lively winds up, first pitch on the way to Carter, and he rips a base hit on the first pitch to right field. So White is aboard, first leadoff man for the Tigers. First runner with it less than two outs. <laughs> Here's the 1-0, and there's a base hit in the left field. So back-to-back -back hits, and the Tigers have the time run in scoring position. Lively set. Here is the pitch, the bunt down third base side, and that will advance the runner. Throw is a little wide, and Wilson ran into Johnson, the second baseman. The 0-1, two even gross, and he unleashes it to the backstop. Here is the throw to the plate, and that gets past Lively. So the wild pitch scores the runner. The 0-1 lively of the belt. Down and away, that's gonna get away, and the Tigers are gonna take a 2-1 lead. In the dirt, so Griffin comes in from third, Gross goes to second. Two to one Memphis here in the bottom of the third. Oh yeah, they, you know they're a great team. You know we respect them, but uh, at the end of the day, we want to win. He's a good pitcher, but you know he struggled that one inning. But uh, we our pitchers held him today, and it was uh, it was a good battle. But both you and uh, and Ben just had really the one inning, and, and your inning uh, was just a couple of hits, weren't any freebies, a single, and then uh, just a good play on Talagay. Got that good jump on Vasquez, doubled right field to score the only run of the ball game. Yeah, so, like you said, we knew it was going to be tight. Uh, you know, I had to make some pitches uh, in that inning, and uh, after that, I kind of cruised. We got that lead, and, mm -hmm. it, and it helps me out a little bit, take a little bit of pressure off. But uh, me and uh, Coach Crow have been working in, the, in our bullpens and uh, trying to keep it low, get first pitch strikes. You know, that's key. Uh, he did a good job of that, and uh, that's pretty much why we kept him uh, from scoring too many runs. That this year, when you kind of look around the league, it's going to be very tight near the yeah, end. One game know. could separate anywhere from first maybe to fifth or sixth place. Yeah, there's, there's been great pitching uh, in the conference uh, as of late, and uh, every game's a battle. You know, you're really not going to see any blowouts anymore with the uh, type of pitching that every uh, team has, and everyone, you know, their starters are good. They always got good relievers, so it's, uh, it's always good to uh, get a win at home and on Friday. Tonight, two-winning save, and you were perfect. Uh, six up, six down. You struck out the last four. You look really strong out there. Thank you. Uh, yeah, it was a pretty close game the whole time. You know, I wasn't really sure uh, if Sam was going to go back out because he was doing so well. You know, and I figured, well, we'll probably just stay with Sam. And, yeah. You know, he might just close this thing out himself because um, he really settled in. And, you know, he's he's a very talented pitcher, and he, um, you know, he works hard and, and battles for us every Friday night. You know, we know what we're going to get from Sam. He's going to give us a, you know, a good outing. So it's just it's nice to come in behind him and, you know, keep the game for him. Talk about this game because it was game number 29. It starts the second half of the season. You guys were 15 and 13 coming into the ball game. Uh, it seems like we haven't played in a couple of weeks. We just had the one rain out this week, uh, but we're used to playing those midweek games. What, what's the kind of the overall feel in the clubhouse for this team? Because you guys sit a lot better than you did last year when you made that run in the second half of the season. You've got to know you've got a lot of ball, ball games to play. This, this team has the potential to do something special this year. Well, we understand that, and, you know, we, we, we preach and – and just try and go one game at a time. Mm -hmm. And today was big for us to get a win, you know, coming in, not playing all week, and, you know, you worry if guys are going to be ready to go mm -hmm. and not seeing the field and all that stuff because you had so much rain. Right. But it was good to come out and get a win, you know, just get that first one under your belt, you know, starting, like you said, the second half of the season. Um, you know, we just want to come out and, and really play it up to our full potential, you know, game in and game out just give it our best effort, and um, at the end of the season, we should be where we want to be. You know, uh, you, you, you call a pitch, and uh, you sit back and watch what they do, and uh, it's been really, really neat to see how uh, they're going about things. You know, uh, the ultimate goal in, in my job is to eliminate my job. And, uh, you know, you make a statement, is, uh, is there a chance of sitting back and watching and enjoying? Uh, these guys are making some very good adjustments. You know, what you saw out of Sam today was phenomenal uh, in reference to um, the strike zone, mm -hmm. you know, the strike zone was pretty small for both of us, and they had a wonderful pitcher on the uh, for UCF that was throwing a very good strike thrower, and Sam uh, did a wonderful job of just going through it. So sitting back and watching guys make adjustments uh, like uh, Sam and Heater did was was really pleasant today. Coach, uh, Sam and Heat did a great job tonight because you only had to spend two guys. You got everyone else. You had the rain out in the midweek. You, you, you should be stocked up for this weekend. Now, you never know how a weekend plays out. 
but you know you got a lot of bullets to fire down there in the bullpen. You know, and and that's the strength. You know, when when we we talked uh, a few weeks ago, and and uh, why pitching. You know, this is the best staff that I had is my number fifteen. You know, because that's the number of guys that we have. Right. Uh, the number fifteen is closer to the number one. So uh, without. Uh, having uh, played this midweek, yeah, we've got uh, our stable stocked, and we've got a lot of uh, stallions in there. Uh, you know, unfortunately, uh, you know, you can only play nine innings. I'd yeah. love to run every one of them out of there, but uh, it's a very unique and, and special situation. But, yeah, the stable's full. 